What's happening guys? I'm Curtis and this is the third episode I filmed this week. Alright, so this episode is going to be about seats. Um, we've kind of come to the conclusion that there's only two options for seats. Uh, one is going to be those Kirky uh, aluminum race seats, very similar to what we've been using for mocking up. Uh, I could get those, it's going to be about a thousand bucks for two seats and covers. They're okay, I don't think that they're going to be real comfortable. Uh, and they're not really the look that I'm going for on this car. So option number two is custom seats. Uh, I could get them made or in the spirit of the channel and the, and the project, I could take a stab at making them myself. So that's what we're going to do this episode. Uh, the plan is uh, I tried making a, a steel frame for a seat, kind of like it would be in a, in a normal car. Um, that's kind of the, the result of that. Uh, it's not very good. I don't like it. So the new plan is we're going to go with just 100% foam, fiberglass over top of that foam, and hopefully get a nice shaped, you know, fiberglass bucket that then we could, can, uh, can take off and get upholstered or we can try upholstering or, or we can figure it out from there. But our first step is going to be building the foam core for the fiberglass. So I've already got one kind of, I'll say 80% done. Uh, so let's take a look at that and then I'll explain what we're going to do for the rest of the episode. All right, here's the seat that we got. Um, it went through a couple iterations out of cardboard and then out of foam uh, before we kind of settled on this shape, but it looks good. Uh, the goal today is we need to reproduce the back for the passenger seat, and then I need to make a couple changes on this bottom plate and then produce a couple of those, and then we'll glue up both passenger and driver seats, and then we can look at fiberglass and then maybe Probably next episode. I don't think I'll get into fiberglass yet, but let's uh, let's grab a piece of foam and show you guys how we built these. general flat pack of our seat back so uh, let's cut it notice I didn't cut the, uh, the fold lines because I want those to act as a hinge what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna put a piece of packing tape on the back side so when I cut I won't cut all the way through and then when we bend it it'll break the foam but the packing tape will kind of allow it to flex So even with just the packing tape on there, it's actually fairly sturdy. Uh, but what we're gonna do now is just uh, 
reinforce it with hot glue so we'll come back in here where these seams have all opened up and we'll just fill her up with hot glue. let that cool down um, and catch up with you guys tomorrow we are back it's a uh, it's a new day the hot glue has dry, dried cooled cooled it's cooled on the uh, on the seat backs so those are done uh, next up I've marked out all the the lines for cutting a bottom tray a seat bottom whatever you want to call it so let's cut that and we'll glue that up. glue cool off before we can do a little bit of final trimming but uh, I think that's where we're gonna leave the episode this week so next week hopefully we'll be on to fiberglassing this um, if not we'll do something else so in the meantime guys thanks so much for watching I appreciate it subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you guys next week I'm out of here